look at this on how to cut at this table will pop up and you can be able to just customize another quantity from here you can say to proceed to view the cut like this and you just view the cut and you can proceed to check out or else you can just go direct to check out like this on click supposed to direct to this page and you just press an order and why me just close this and the next thing you just click continue shopping and you get back to the shop and you add new product and the process uh, the process continue like that isn't that amazing let's just go to this website and try to add one once you try to add the code i used to just find this notification that show you the product has been added to cart and you just have to come here and select either with the cart or the checkout hello creative designers that's the tutorial for today we're just going to learn how to add this add to cart pop-up function to your e-commerce website we're just going to use a free plugin for us to achieve all this my name is peter welcome So what we need to do, we need first of all to go to the dashboard. Head on your dashboard menu, scroll to where you have the plugin. On how far we have these three options, select the second option. Add new, because we need to install a new plugin. Search for WooCommerce Add to Cut pop-up Ajax. Here we have the plugin, it is from Exotics. You can see it has more than 10,000 active installation. Out of 58 dating, it has almost this uh, 4.5. You can see the team behind the plugin are actively, uh, are active with it. Last update, you can see four months ago. So what we need to do, first of all, we need to install the plugin here. After successful installation of the plugin, we need to activate the plugin. After now you have activated the plugin, now you can see on the dashboard menu, we have now the button for add to cut pop-up. Yeah, for now, if we just open and we open a new page, I will open a new tab. We scroll and open either of the product and we just click add to cut. You can see the window now, uh, it's popping up. Now we need to just do some customization and do some setup. So from here, go back to your WordPress uh, dashboard and scroll to where you have uh, on, the dashboard, on the dashboard menu, scroll to where you have add to cut, pop up, click on it. Here now we have all those things that you can customize. Here's a free plugin and has more function that you can use. So first of all, let's just open up here. So that we can understand a few things from here so enable it on mobile yeah you can dis uh, activate it on mobile let me just try to see how it look like let's see the display on the mobile so this is my mobile so i just click add to cut and you can see how it even look on mobile yeah one can proceed to whatever you want one can add even the product quantity and one can also reduce i think this will be good for me yeah i can even uh, remove the product from the cart and i can also close the cart that's how it look like on mobile phone so if you want to enable it on mobile phone let it be uh select this one show the product detail yeah here you have the product detail the product that is already on the cut so if you want to remove the product detail like image and quantity you just have to untick this one but i think it's okay uh quantity button here we have uh let me just minimize this one here we have now this one this plus and negative you can also decide to remove of them but i think uh, from here to this find i think is good for me uh request uh, reset cut form i want this to request quantity output uh 
on default stage i want it to be like that from there now here we have you can decide now how you can uh, the width of so you can decide to uh you can decide to change the width of the of this box if you say something like let's say something like 850 and you save it after you save and you come here and you load the page here and you decide to add the product the cart you can see the size of this uh, box of this pop-up has increased but I would like to use it of 650 like that I would rather have uh, an image with uh, something like 20 you can also increase but I want to use 20 percent I want this uh, this button background to be uh, you can say to have a different color just like I want to have something like red like that and text color let it be black like that uh, front size I want it to be 14 but you can change depending on how you want it uh, the button radius I want something like 50 50 that means that to this edge here let's save it uh, and see the border radius let now go to the other tab and we just add it to the cart. So let's load here. On the page has load. Now you can come and add to cart and you can see how it look like. You can see the edge at 50%. You can see uh, the input uh, letter. Uh, you can see the input text. You can see how it look like. I want to use something like white. Let's see white. How white it look like. And we refresh here the page again. And let me just remove all this. And we try again. And go back to shop. And we select another product here. In the product will work the same. And we see how it look like. You can see how it look like. But you can see somehow bright, but it all depends on the theme that you're using. So from there, now you can just, I want it to be black like that. Uh, item border size, you can decide to have the border. You can decide to have something like two or like five and you can see border color i want it to be something like red and just save it let's refresh here and let's add to cut and you can see the border that we have just added this is how it will look like if you decide to have uh, this border included in your pop-up but how rather not wish to have this border size here I like to be zero and I save the changes if you remove it and add zero and you refresh here you are the product the cart you see how it look like but it all depends on how you just want to customize yeah let me use white as my color here so from there now you go to advance you can see here they just give you on those things that are available when you're using a free version and when you're using a premium version remember you only need to purchase this plugin only once and you can see it's all about $14 so cheap but works amazing but you can you have seen how uh, you have seen how the free version have worked very well for us but when you just decide to have some premium version you can see uh, the premium version available and premium features available uh, when you just purchase the plugin but on today's tutorial I just wanted to just use that simple terms and just show you how you can add add to cart pop-up or for free in your e-commerce website hope this tutorial was of great help to you and hope you gained something out of this tutorial if you have watched these tutorials this to this far hit the like button because it has been no value that's why i just maintain to keep you in my channel remember to hit the subscribe button 
if you are new if you are new to this channel thank you and keep coming back for more